The leather tab here, we've got a sales analysis. This is kind of showing you, um, I wouldn't consider Excel a dashboard tool per se, but when you're building these power pivot objects, you can either build uh, the tables or you can build you know, charts. So you could get something that, that might look like, and in this case people could argue this is a dashboard. Um, the top section here is all based on financials. So this is all coming from the general ledger module. We've got an actual budget and the revenue broken down by business segment. But then down below, we pulled some information by, from the sales module of J.D. Edwards. Given if things don't exactly tie here, it's our sample J.D. Edwards sales data. It doesn't necessarily tie to our J.D. Edwards sample um, financial data. But you get the concept. Basically, we're pulling from two different modules and within uh, one screen are able to, to pull data from, from that and display that. So we've got, in essence, year-to-date sales by customer type or by region or sales rep. Okay. If we want to then go in and, again, just by clicking around just different values, we can kind of see the values change here on the fly. Um, but we can go ahead and build a new power uh, pivot table here as well. One of the things with, with Power Pivot when you install it, and one of the, the requirements for Power Pivot is that you have Microsoft Excel 2010. Um, that's the, uh, the prerequisite, and then you could um, go just go to PowerPivot.com and download Power Pivot. Um, and when you do that, you'll see this Power Pivot option become available. Uh, from this point, we can go in just from the drop down. We'll go and dive into this a little bit greater in a, in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and hit Power Pivot. Uh, I'm sorry, Pivot Table. I can choose a pivot table, a pivot chart, maybe a table and chart side by side or above. So you've got these different layouts or even a flattened table as an example. I'm going to go ahead and just pull a pivot table right now. I want to do it in an existing worksheet or a new worksheet. Let's go ahead and do it in a new worksheet. Okay. So here's my table. Anytime I click on the table, I've got my, my power pivot field list and that little panel will show up on the right. So in this case, I'm going to do this on sales data. Let's go down and pull maybe um, sales by region. If I grab my sold to region and just drop that into my row labels, we'll see our regions be identified. If I want to grab my extended amount, drag that into my values. Immediately we can go ahead and see we can see our extended amount. Let's go ahead and format that with dollars and no decimals. Okay. So I'm, let's say I want to see within my, my row, I want to see a breakdown within each region by maybe sold to or sales rep as an example. Let's go ahead and pull in sales rep. So now we can see the breakdown of different sales reps. Um, if we wanted to go ahead, instead of seeing sales rep, I'll just move that off. We'll drag down maybe a customer. All right, so now we can do not customer number, we want customer name. Okay. Um, and then at this point, if I wanted to go ahead and swap out, maybe I want to see region as my different columns, my customers as my rows, I can go ahead and just drag our region over to the right. Maybe we want to see, in essence, as our rows, not customers, but uh, sold to type. So I'll just drag that down to my rows and go ahead and remove the other. So real quickly, you can kind of get a nice ability to slice and dice, see data roll up uh, a bunch of different ways. We want to go ahead and add a different slicer here and go ahead and bring in maybe our region description as our horizontal slicer. Maybe I want to look at this case just at like central and uh, east or something like that. So we could do that. Okay, so that's kind of in a nutshell um, how we could just have an existing report adding to it with a new pivot table.